Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now as you can see today, I am in fairly leafy surroundings. I'm in a place called Fordington, which is in Dorchester. Um, pretty nice and peaceful around here, it has to be said. But the reason I'm here, there is a cracking little chippy apparently, ranked as one of the top 50 in the country according to the trade magazine Fry. <laughs> no, I've never read it either. It's one of those ones you probably got on uh, Have I Got News For You in the headlines bit, isn't it? But uh, yeah, apparently there is a fish and chip magazine and they've ranked this place as one of the top 50 in the whole country. The only one in Dorset to make that list. So it's gotta be pretty good, right? Now, as you know, I've kind of been recently thinking about what can you get in a chippy for under a tenner? after I went to Swanage and got a very small fish, chips and mushy peas that came in at £9.90. I went to Wareham not long ago and picked up from Long John's chip shop, I think it was, um, a similar kind of thing, but with a pickled egg and some pickled onions. That came in at under a tenner. Let's see what we can get from this place. Oh, and by the way, it's called Callaway's. is behind me there it's a very little kind of place isn't it like a proper old school chippy in there now what i've ordered is something a little bit different to normal hake now you don't see that in a lot of chippies these days do you i know it's a fish that's widely eaten in europe but over here we're just obsessed with cod and haddock and they got hake in here and that's just four pound 95 for a piece of that so i've ordered that i've ordered a homemade fish cake a small chips and a gherkin or a wally that has come to nine pound and 95 pence under a tenner. Let's see how it is. Just to let you know, I don't know if you saw it on the menu there, but they also do a meal deal here. Uh, but you get a few different options. You can get small cod or cod bites or chicken nuggets, that sort of thing, with chips and a side, whether that's curry sauce, mushy peas, whatever, for eight pounds and 20 pence, which I don't think is too bad. I could have done that, but when I saw Hake was on the menu, I thought, let's try something a bit different, shall we? So I'm gonna make use of this lovely green area we've got. There's the chippy there in the background. We've got this lovely village green. So I'm gonna sit here and eat my lunch. All right, the goodies are all in this bag. Let's get them opened up and have a little look, shall we? Right then folks, so what do we make of this then? I mean, it's a really, really good sized portion, isn't it? Look at that piece of fish. We've got lemon in there. We've got this big fish cake. This is a homemade fish cake. And we've got the gherkins, the wallies. Look at them. They've actually put two in the bag because they're not the biggest ones. Normally you get them about twice the size of these. So I guess that's why they give me an extra one. But let's see if I can pick this piece of fish up so you can see the size of it, it's boiling hot, blimey, that is too hot to hold for long. <laughs> That's a really, really healthy portion of fish, isn't it? As I say, hake, probably a little bit cheaper than cod or haddock to buy in, which is why they can do it. We've got a couple of nice slices of lemon, which I will be putting on the fish. In fact, I'll do that right now. Okay, we're gonna start with this fish. Now I've just cut a little bit off the end. Look how lovely and white that looks inside. A nice smell to it. Oh, it's warm. Mmm. That is a really tasty bit of fish. It's quite mild in flavour. The lemon on there is very, very nice. And that batter 
is exceptional. I'm sure you can hear the crunch. Mmm. Lovely white flakes of fish there. And seeing as this is a good couple of quid cheaper than cod. Mmm. I would happily eat that any time I went to get fish and chips. That is absolutely delicious. The batter is very thin and very crispy. As I've mentioned before on videos, I'm not the biggest fan of batter generally. I find sometimes it's a bit thick. It can be kind of almost doughy inside and undercooked. This definitely isn't suffering from that. Mm. Good flavour to it. Lovely crisp. And that fish is delicious. It really is. Let's move on to the chips. Now I've got, only got a small portion here. But it's a perfectly adequate portion. It really is. So... Here we go, take a look at this. A nice golden colour. Again, crispy on the outside. Nice and fluffy inside too. And in the main, they're pretty big chips. There are a few scrappy ones, but you get that anywhere, don't you, in a fish and chip shop when they're made out of proper potato. Mm. Not greasy at all. Really nicely cooked. Mm. And like I say, the portion size. Here you can get a small one, which is 225. Or a medium or a large. The small is perfectly adequate for one person. More than enough. It really is. Mm. Time for a little bite of this. Now, we call these wallies around our way. Well, I do anyway. I don't know whether that's... Because that's what my dad used to call them, and he's, he's an East London boy, so maybe it's from there. But it's just a big pickled gherkin, the sort of thing that you would find sliced in your burgers or whatever. But uh, we can just eat this as it is. And a bit like a pickled egg and a pickled onion I had in my recent review from Long John's. It's that sort of pickle that cuts through the greasiness of fish and chips. Because there's always a little bit of a fatty kind of flavour to it, isn't there? So you can have your chips. And it's almost kind of cleanses the palate. The good thing about these wallies, compared to the pickled egg or a pickled onion, is there's a kind of a milder, sweeter pickle to it. So it does almost kind of cleanse the palate. Mmm. That's really, really tasty. Okay, on to this now. This is their homemade fish cake. £1.85 now. In a lot of chippies, you'll pay about that kind of money just for a normal crappy shop bought one. This homemade, weighty, certainly weighty, lovely kind of golden breadcrumb crust to it. Let's get into it and see how it looks inside. Oh yeah, there we go. Take a look at this. Lovely white inside there. So it's mashed potato, off cuts of fish, parsley and a bit of seasoning. Mm. That's just how a fish cake should be. The inside, the mash, the potato in there, it's very smooth, so you can pick up the little flakes of fish in there. That hint of parsley always goes very nice with fish. And the coating in those breadcrumbs, oh yeah. Nice and crispy. Again, not greasy at all. Just tasty. 
a lovely crunch which contrasts with the softness of the fish cake in the middle. And you can see, well maybe you can't see, but I can see, whole little flakes of fish in there. But it's not just minced fish like you'd get in a shop bought fish cake. You're actually using the off cuts when they're trimming the fish and just chopping it into little bits. Mm. I've got to say, just for a little chippy like this, tucked away, off the beaten track, you can see why they're getting the reputation they are. This is exceptional. folks so what can i say about that that i haven't said already i think that is some of the best fish and chips i've had in a very long time the fish the hake was really really nice quite mild tasting but nice and meaty and the batter on it was fabulous like i said before not a huge fan of batter a lot of the time this was thin crispy not greasy at all really really good the chips were delicious just cooked nicely and that homemade fish cake oh, what a delight that was as well Let's not forget the Wallies. Nice little uh, vinegary sweet hit every now and again just to cleanse the palate. Really, really good. All of that for £9.95. pence. There is still good value out there. Right, so that's going to be it from me for today. If you've enjoyed this little video, don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Okay, I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.